Yes, yes, and welcome to a new video. I'm LB above me, John, and this is going to be a review of the first game we've played this year, bro, with the snow. It was a oh, madness, wasn't it? Yeah, bro, the snow was so bad. It was, it was so bad. The pitch was pure white. Yeah, I know. Massive respect, though, actually, to all the city staff who, who worked at half time to get all the snow off the pitch, man, because obviously there was a little bit of doubt with the game carry on, um, but they, they worked really hard, cleared the pitch. I think it took an extra five minutes, so the referee allowed it. But um, they got the job done, and obviously, City got the job done as well. Um, Matt, before we get into the video, guys, I want to tell you about our sponsor today. It is the guys at Manscaped. Uh, Manscaped have got this, which is the Lawnmower 4.0, which has been specifically designed to shave your ball sack to get that nice, smooth feel, Bray. Um, and it's, it's absolutely mega, bro. It's got skin safe technology, which helps reduce all the nicks and cuts. It's waterproof, it's wireless charging. It's got a torch on it for that precision, um, precision manscaping, Bray, to get that nice smoothness. Um, if you get the performance pack as well, you get this, which is the ball toner, mate, as well, which, you know, is good. It smells so nice. It, it smells so nice. Like, like on a reel, on Actually, a reel. It smells well you nice. You can just, like, spray it and smell it just, like, just in, in, yeah. the, in a general because it's that nice. Yeah, exactly. And the performance package gets the ball deodorant for the anti-chafe effect as well, guys. Um, it is Black Friday, as you all know, and uh, Manscaped are running a sale at the moment, which is 25% off your order as well as free shipping. So it is a limited time deal only. I don't know how long it's on for, but it's, it's, it's not going to be 25%. So if you are wanting to take this, uh, take the advantage and get in that deal, now is the best time. Um, just click the link, manscaped.com forward slash extra. Links in the description and the pinned comment, and it'll take you there. And the the, the discounts already automatically applied. So it take a little bit longer than normal to go over the sponsors because it is Black Friday. It's a massive for them, and they really help us. So go check it out if you've not already got yourself a lawnmower. Um, right, Bray. Let's, I mean, let's talk about this game. The preview. We said it would be harder than PSG. Now, I don't know if it was, in the end, harder than PSG, but it was a very, very hard game, wasn't it? Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't a lot of space, the, the, I guess. Do you know what I mean? like We we knew in it. We knew that it was going to be difficult. West Ham had sit back. But first half, mm. what you generally saw is City would have more, more of the ball. Um, we'd be dominating possession completely, but West Ham were getting the better chances. They were coming for, coming at us. I think Antonio had it in the box like three times. So, like, he put a ball into the box for... I can't remember who it was actually. He put the ball into the box for early on in the first half, and that that could have that was a big chance there. They dusted the port on one of them, so they were getting the better chances in the first half. And I was just a bit like, it was hard to know where this game was going to go at that point. I, it, it felt you said it in the, in, in the watch on it felt like Crystal Palace two point oh. Yeah. Um, it's these kind of games that I, I don't like. I don't. I, but it's these games that we have to deal with. I mm. guess it's a it's a credit to how good City are nowadays that teams have to set up like this because if they don't, then we end up battering them. Yeah. Um, but so, <laughs> I just want some attacking football, bro. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think maybe I want that because I want City to smash it. You know what I mean? I know. You, you know what, bro? I'm. I was really surprised at how good and dominant we were today because this this was the perfect game for the players to come on the pitch. Be lethargic, not really give it a hundred percent, moaning about the weather, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you know what I mean, and just not giving that hundred percent effort that, that that you need to give in every single Premier League game. However, I've got to say it was the complete opposite. Every single player was going that extra extra yard, giving that extra bit of you know energy to try and help the team forward. And I just was like super buzzing with how they played because I expected I expected a negative. A negative performance because of the conditions, you know what I mean? And yeah. Because we were playing West Ham, who, who were quite defensive. But credit to the lads, I'm so, so proud of them. They give 110% today. Pep got his tactics spot on. The bench wasn't that inspiring, you know what I mean? We had a couple of academy guys on there in Cole Palmer and James McAtee. You know, there wasn't really much else on there. So the, the team that started kind of needed to do the business from the off. And they did, and they controlled the game. We limited West Ham to very little. They did have a few chances, and obviously Lanzini, fair play, he scored an absolute worldie at the end. But other than that, we kind of controlled it. And yeah, I'm just, I'm super buzzing, bro, because this could have been, this could have been a banana skin quite easily. Yeah, uh, you said this as well, the fact that we say this all the time and it's become back to the fact that a meme that people actually comment this before we even say it, but it's, uh, this is one of the games that you look back at in the season, guaranteed. You look mm. back at the game, well, that was difficult and then, I mean, there's a big three points. Yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? It's put us up there, do you know what I mean? We're putting pressure on other teams and that because 
West Ham are decent this year. People like people just look at it on paper and go, oh, yeah. you, it's only West Ham. What you're about, mate? Mm. They're in the top four. I know. West Ham are in the top four. They're slamming. Dave Moyes got them playing good football. They've taken points from big teams, mm. and uh, we've gone out there and beat them two one. So you know what I mean? You have to be proud of the lads. They've done the job today. They've absolutely smashed it. Yeah. Um, but do you know what I mean? If you, if you, for entertainment purposes, you look at a game, it's probably not one of them ones that you're gonna want to rewatch kind of thing because no. it wasn't that entertaining. And it is what it is. But it's about the professionalism and just getting the business done. That's you know what, what we did today. It, you know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the Leicester game where we beat them 1-0 at yeah, the King yeah. Power. And yeah. that wasn't an easy game. And we had to scrap, we had to fight for it. Bernardo Silva got us the goal that day. And it wasn't a very good game in, in terms of watching it and entertainment. But we got the three points and that's the main thing. And that game reminded me of that today. And um, We spoke about the conditions, bro. But I've got I to gotta say this again about the conditions, bro. It was absolutely mental. I mean, come the end of the first half, you couldn't even see where the lines were. You know what I mean? And I thought there was a bit of a risk that the game could get called off if that snow... Um, kept on coming. Luckily, half time came at the, the right time. As I say, the city staff, massive respect for them guys. They're out there, you know, sweeping that, um, sweeping the snow off, giving it hundred percent, just like the players, because that was probably not easy. I mean, the freezing Bro, cold, sweating, sweating the back out. Luckily, Mother Nature stopped the snow at the correct time, and the second half went, um, you know, pretty easy. But again, I just say. To go out there in those conditions. I said on the live watch on, didn't I, bro? I went outside before, yeah, in that snow and moved my car. And I was outside for all of about a minute. And I, I, I hated every single second of it. You know what I mean? I, I was in the car and I was like, I'm not getting out. I'm just going to stay here and just listen to the match <laughs> on the radio. So, look, massive respect to everyone, really, to get this way. I feel like today's result, bro, is for the people. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> everyone came together today. You know what I mean? Yeah, the staff, yeah, the kept players, the, game the going. manager, the fans turning up. You know what I mean? It was a. Uh, I'm just buzzing, bro, because, yeah. like I say, we will look back on this game, I feel, and say, you know what, that because that was our fifth win in a row. Fifth win in a row. It started with starting to build a bit of momentum, and this is yeah. what something that you've said quite a lot on this channel that when when the international break, we've got the longest period now for from the last international break to the next one. The next one's in March. So the, in, during that period, you've always said that that's when City will gain momentum. Um, I think in one of our group chats that we're in, someone said that as the weather goes uh, colder, City heat up. Whoa. Like, do you know what I mean? It's good, that. Isn't it? That is nice. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. I was like, oh, I like that. Um, and it's true because, like, during these, this way, we usually get build a bit of a momentum and get these long, like last year with our 21 match winning run, whatever it was. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It started, we're starting to build on a bit of a winning streak now mm -hmm. and getting these points up, and it, it's showing in the table. Do you know what I mean? That's why we're sitting up there at the top of them. We were written off yeah. in the first mo two months of the season. Everyone was like, oh, yeah, City aren't in it this year. But look at us now. Nah, this is when we come alive, bro. Yeah, exactly. So I reckon. It's going to be big. We've got a massive month ahead of us. You know what I mean? We've got, what, what did you say before? Eight games. Eight, Eight games, games in this December. Month. That's mad. What we're going to do, guys, actually, tomorrow night, we're going to do a live stream um, of the month of November review, and we'll do a preview, because we're not going to have time yeah. otherwise to fit in the preview. We'll combine a review and a preview of December in one live stream tomorrow night. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when we go live tomorrow. Right, let's go through these play ratings, bro. Um, these are decided by the Extra Club members. Um, and like I say, if you want to get involved with that, links in the description, you know where to go. Um, Edison, 7.8. Walker, 7.3. Diaz, 8. Laporte, 7.1. I thought Laporte in the first half was a bit dodgy. I thought he was getting weight. He was getting murked by um, Antonio. Antonio yeah, they... Second half, though, I feel like he sorted himself out. Cancelo, 7.9. Another good performance from him. Um, Rodri and Gundogan, 8.8. And I think that's just joint, it's joint man of the match, <laughs> Again, again, bro. Joint man of the matches. So these extra members, man, they're, they're on the fence at the moment. With these, that's two games in a row they've not been able to decide. So, guys, let us know in the comment section below. Who gets man of the match today? Rodri or Gundogan? Both getting 8.8s, bro. Yeah, uh, Bernardo, he was putting a shift in as always. Yeah, as he gets always. an 8.1. I would say that the, the I mean, he's putting a shift in, but he's, he's getting 8.1 kind of thing. I think usually on the, on the channel, we used to see like quite high ratings and stuff like that, but I think because the game was pretty a dead game kind of thing, the, mm. the ratings are naturally going to be a bit lower. Um, Mares gets an 8.3. He set up uh, Jesus for the goal. Oh, no, no good one for the goal. Yeah. I thought he was good again today. Bro. Um, yeah, yeah, showing his quality again. Um, still, he gets 7.8. He was on the left side today. Obviously, we've been saying we on the right, but do I mean more game time for him? And mm -hmm. Jesus gets it 8.0. And I thought he played well as well. Yeah. You know I mean, some real good performances there. Subs, obviously, one. Um, Pep and the ref there at the bottom of the screen as well. But you know what? It's a good performance today. And I think a lot of these players now are coming into form. You're starting to see Sterling um, hitting a little bit of form. Jesus is hitting some good form. Mares now is starting to hit the heights that we know he can hit. And the best thing about these players is they're hitting good form, bro. 
but they've got levels to go. You yeah. think this is Mahrez's best? Nah, he, nah. Can, he can get well better than this, this Mahrez. This isn't City's final form, you know nah. what I mean? This is basically, you're looking at City now as just like, there is more gears to go after Definitely. this. And that's scary, that, that's scary for the rest of the Prem, because when we get into that rhythm, you know what I mean? That's that's when things. That's when we'll be battering teams left, right, and centre. No. Hopefully, make up a bit of goal difference. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Right, guys. Just a reminder: tomorrow we're going to go live, do a review with the month of November and a preview. Massive eight games in this month of December. So uh, yeah, be there. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. A massive shout out to the guys at Manscapes. They're giving you the discounts, guys. It is Black Friday, 25 percent off and free shipping at Manscaped.com. If you get the performance package, you get the lawnmower, which is which is that. You get the crop preserver crop reviver the magic mat the weed whacker which is if you've got a hairy nose um yeah and it's, it's it's a madness guys this deal isn't gonna last forever and they do support the channel so if you do have a hairy ball sack you've been looking down at it in the shower and you're thinking i need to do something with to that, so honest, that then head over to manscape.com forward slash extra it's not gonna last forever and other than that guys we'll see you in the next one <laughs>